So you're browsing the template marketplace and you come across this template. It has an amazing smooth page transition as you navigate between pages and you start to think, how is this created? Well, in this quick video, I'll show you how these smooth wipe mask transitions are done right inside the framer without writing any code. My name is Nandi, this is Framer University and let's get started. So there is a really famous template on the marketplace called Fabrica by Onatoly and uh, yeah it was copied many many times it's just it's an excellent template and if you click preview you can see that it has really smooth page transitions as we are moving between different pages and um, you know you might be thinking how the hell can I create something like this in Framer is this no code do I have to like use code components or is like, how is this created? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy the setup process for creating something like this. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I just remixed a free template on the marketplace just to show you how you can literally take your website to the next level with this simple change. You can see now it just has a simple like appear effect on these text layers as you navigate between pages, um, nothing crazy. But with this like two, three step process, you can add a page transition to all pages and it's just gonna work perfectly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the home page here on the uh, left pages panel, home, really important to be on the home. And then you have to select your primary desktop breakpoint. Then on the right, you're gonna find the effects section and then click the little plus button and then all pages. We don't want to go to single page. We want to go to all pages. This is how it's going to be applied everywhere. And we don't have to do it over and over again. We just apply it once here and it's going to be basically applied to all pages. So what we do here is we click the this page because that's how we can add an exit effect on the current page. So the exit effect, if we think about it, it is going to be a movement to the top so just pay attention how the projects and all the like images here move up as I click <laughs> I'm currently on the projects okay so I'm gonna click again to blog and everything moves up you can see that right and then the new content comes in from the bottom but first we just have to pay attention to the exit effect of the current content so again everything moves up okay let's do that uh, we have an offset Y a property. We can just move that uh, to push content to the top. So it's going to be minus 30%. So we're going to push everything up by 30%. Basically, that's it. And you can also see that there is like a mask going on. Like there's a swipe effect or wipe effect with this dark um, like frame. So that is created with mask. So we click here, mask. We're going to change the type to wipe and uh, that's basically it. However, you can see in the preview, if you click here, that now it's going from the left to the right. We want it to go from the bottom to the top. So we just have to start rotating, rotating it until we reach the bottom to top direction. Basically, that's it to 70 degree rotation. And, uh, and I think that's it. So if you go back, we can also specify the transition of how this will play out. So it has to be a little bit like longer to be like really smooth. Uh, so I'm going to set it to 0.6 seconds. And uh, we can also tweak this little curve here to be a little bit more like something like this. As you're tweaking this, you can also always just click here to see how that will play out. And yeah, I think I like this um, right now. If you tweak this, you kind of have to copy this so you can reuse it on the other effects. So I just copied it to my clipboard so we'll be able to paste it in. So now I go back, the exit effect on the current page is done. Now I have to define how any page that I navigate to will enter. So let's click this. Offset, you remember we had minus 30% to move things up here. We want to move things down because that's where it will come in from, right? So 30%, a little 
a side note here. The reason why we do this is because we want to keep the direction of movement. So you can see that projects, the text and every the content on the website moves up. And you can see that the new content also moves up. So you can see Expert Insights as it was coming in, it was moving from the bottom to the top. Again, th the direction of the movement is the same. We, we don't transition like moving everything up and then here on the new page, moving everything down. That wouldn't really look cool. So we keep the direction of movement to create this smooth transition. So again, to create that, we have to here use 30% offset instead of minus 30 to position the initial position of the content of the new page to the bottom. And it will move in from that position towards the top to the center original position. So the mask will be the same. Wipe to 70. So from top, sorry, from uh, bottom to the top like this. And then as you remember, we copied uh, the curve so we can just paste it in here. As you can see, now it's pasted and the time will be the same 0.6. However, here we have to kind of wait for the previous animation to finish. So this cannot be initiated right away. So we have to have a slight delay here, maybe 0.5 seconds. You can experiment with different values here. Uh, if you have lower, there will be more overlap between the two effects, but I want to have something like 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So in the transition, you're going to see like a black screen at a certain point, and then the new page will come in. If you have a larger and larger delay here, that black like frame will be visible for a longer time. If you have less and less delay here, this black frame will not even be visible. Like it's just hardly gonna be visible. So yeah, but again, you can experiment with different values here. I'm gonna use 0 0.5 and uh, I think that's it. I think that's all we have to do. Uh, now I'm gonna close this little window and we're gonna see what we have. I click about and it's basically the same transition and it looks really, really nice. And you see with this simple, like one single property, we were able to add a page transition that works throughout all pages on our website. So we don't have to edit to all pages separately. It's just, we just edit once and it works. However, we're going to see that we're not done yet. We have a little issue. You can see in preview, as we navigate between pages, we have this grayish like screen that we see as it swipes through. Now let's see what we have on the live website. I'm going to publish this on the top right and then click the link and see what we have. So I click work. It's white. It is not really what we were seeing in the preview inside of Framer. So what do we do to customize the color of that wipe or swipe effect? So basically for you to understand, the color that we see between transitions is the fill color of the breakpoint. Okay. So here, the fill color of the breakpoint is white. And that's why we are seeing white color. Now, do not ask me why we see gray in Framer Preview. I have no idea. Uh, but I know that we have to change this here, the breakpoint color to a different color and it's going to be basically a fix for us. So I'm going to go here on the home and change the background to black. And you can see that I do not say, see that change because this template has a content frame that has a fair color white. If I remove that, you can see the black in the background. So I'm going to just do this on all pages. I'm going to set the breakpoints to black color. So here, Again, it doesn't uh, really look black because we still have that white content frame. And this is exactly what you can do when you want to have a different swipe color compared to your sections uh, color. You can just set the breakpoint itself to a different color and your sections can actually be, you know, any other color like white, blue, whatever. So now in theory, if I publish this new website with the updated breakpoint colors, uh, I will see 
black transitions. So go to work. Exactly. Now the little wipe, swipe transition is black. Looks really nice. Looks really smooth. So yeah, I think that's it. That's how you can create smooth page transition on your free websites without writing any code. And I think it's a really easy way to, again, level up your websites. If you have any questions about this whole process or if you run into any issues, make sure to drop those questions down in the description or maybe in the comment section. I think you have access to that. The description is something that I can edit. So what you're going to find in the description, though, is Framer.University. That is a website that you have to visit right now if you haven't done that already or if you have done that already, then also just visit it again because there might be some other uh, or new resource that you haven't seen already. So I'm posting new resources, new tutorials every single day. So you're going to find like scroll animations, uh, different components and stuff like that, that you can remix for completely free. So if you're learning Framer or you're just building Framer websites, it's going to be a great resource for you. So yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure to like it, subscribe for more. And I'm going to see you in the next one.